Hello folks, Don Rowley here with a little report on some of the latest scumbaggery in the martial arts. As I put this out, Frank Dukes is supposed to be having a Hall of Fame Awards uh, event out in Las Vegas. I say supposedly because it was canceled and I'm going to get into details with that. For those of you just joining us, Frank Dukes is pretty much the poster child for fraud in the martial arts. If you ever heard of the movie Bloodsport, supposedly it was based on his life. It was proven that that was all a lie. Frank tried to sue the people that exposed him, and every time he lost because the people that exposed him were telling the truth. He's a coward, a bully, he has an arrest record for domestic abuse. So, you know, him doing something scummy really isn't all that surprising. It, all that really surprised me about this incident is just how blatant and how little he thought about it for the long-term uh, effects. So yeah, so again, this is a Hall of Fame award that uh, Frank is supposed to be putting on this weekend, and that's a common scam in the martial arts. Essentially, dubious people get with other dubious people and pay to have an award and a chance to have their picture taken with others. By dubious, I mean the kind of folks that you know, have a year, maybe two years, if that, in actual training, then they reinvent themselves as the, the heap big soke, you know, the grandmaster of their own martial arts. Some of them are even calling themselves supreme grandmasters because grandmaster because, has become so common. So yeah, so these people, they need uh, stuff to put on their websites, stuff to put on their walls to impress soccer moms looking for a place to put their brats. And yeah, you know, I, an award from some Hall of Fame in martial arts looks good to the typical soccer mom who doesn't know any better. And she sees pictures of this guy with other people that are said to be masters, even though all of them move like pregnant yaks and are completely incompetent. And usually they send these Hall of Fames send out awards to people like Chuck Norris, who you would recognize. So when there's a list on the wall of this dojo that this guy has set up giving the awards for that year, you, you can see Steven Seagal, maybe a UFC champion, stuff like that, alongside Joe Schmuck Sensei in the in the shopping mall dojo. Some of the uh, better ones, more savvy, you know, uh, actually hire out you know, uh, uh, martial arts that have been put out to field. Uh, Cynthia Roderick is probably one of the best knowns. She used to be a pretty good actress back in the day, uh, but now it's like the last uh, IMDs last uh, time her movie was for like second clerk at the uh, hotel that was her role but yeah so all these things are is that you, you know these guys that create their own own arts they can't go to their own old teachers and say hey you know like could you put you know recommend me or something like that so they need something like that so they buy these awards and buy a chance to have their picture taken with other p people that are claimed to be masters uh, and of course, they don't be that blatant about it, really, or at least they don't try not to be that blatant about it. You know, they say, oh, you don't buy these awards. But like for Frank's event, if you want to show up at the award ceremony on Friday night, it would, you know, one person would be $199. Yeah, and I saw the menu. It's like the most expensive thing there was like salmon. Uh, so yeah, they're, they're not paying for the food. They're paying for something else, and you know what this something else is. And um, yeah, Saturday and Sunday is supposed to be training. And just to give you an example of the priorities of these people, if you want to just train Saturday and Sunday, it would cost you 175. Right. So 199 just to go to the dinner, 175 just to go to the training. It kind of shows you your priorities because most of these people want the certificate and nothing else. Oh, and maybe they'll pay for a plaque or a medal. All those are extra things like that. There's so many different things. Key fobs, I guess. You know, some, at some of these places all to show off that they were part of this Hall of Fame uh, and honored there. Now, among the dubious, there's some absolute frauds, but you know, like Frank Dukes, and he thought that you know his reputation was such among the dubious that he could still pull it off. And it looks like it had to be canceled, which happens, but it was in July that there was a, a brief m uh, mention by one of the, Frank's few friends, a guy named Ashita Kim, real name Radford Davis, 
saying that the event had been canceled. But as of this weekend, the event page on Facebook is still up. The uh, ticket selling company, uh, Eventbrite, I believe it is, is, was still selling tickets as of Friday. And there was no, you know, no announcements. The last announcement for anything was on June 5th by the Cove uh, sponsor, a guy named Alan Woodman, and you know, saying that tickets were going fast. So yeah, so it looks like uh, they did, they kept selling tickets long after they knew the event was going to be canceled. Yeah, that's to say, if they ever really was were planning on doing it anyways. This is a thing that uh, we're finding out over the weekend. In one of the groups that we're in, you know, those of us investigating it, there's a guy named Damon Abbott, and he's dubious, uh, sore guy. And, you know, we called him out and said, hey, you know, like the instructors, you're supposed to, you know, according to this, you're supposed to be one of the instructors at this event. What can you tell us about it? And he said, well, you know, I talked to Dukes briefly, like in February. The next thing I know, I see that I'm listed as an instructor. I never intended to go. And there seemed to be no contact. They, they did not contact him. They did not, you know, make arrangements at any point for him to come out, it seems. So you really have to wonder if they were n not serious about going through with it at all. Uh, again, Alan Woodman has got like a very, very bad reputation for things like these. I'm sure that Dukes will try to like say it was his fault, but I did the numbers. Um, there were 63 people on the Facebook page saying they were going. Okay, let's say less than half of that actually paid for tickets. And let's say, you know, let's say 25, less than half. And let's say they went with the, the bare minimum, the, the, the $200, just round up to $200. Eventbrite, of course, actually can refund, but there's no refunds. I should have mentioned that. There's no refunds for this. So anyone that bought tickets, they're not getting a refund. And again, 25 people spending $200, that's $5,000 that they get. And they, and again, Eventbrite is going to take a, a chunk of every ticket they sell. And, you know, but aside from that, we don't, you know, they didn't rent a room. In fact, we're not even sure if the place that they said they were going to have the event at actually was ever contacted. You know, there was plenty of pictures and stuff like that being held here, but when uh, when somebody else called this place and said about it, they, they the people there at the time knew nothing about it. Obviously, if they canceled in May, might have uh, uh, might be just a slip of the mind, you know, that people weren't aware of it. But yeah, uh, it really looks like there's a possibility that they put this thing up and never intend to go through with it, which again, just seems stupid to me. I, I cannot believe even Frank would be that stupid. I mean, he's, he's pretty dumb. I mean, he once shared an Onion article about how when UN inspectors were knocking on the doors, Iranian scientists dumped yellow cake down the toilet, like, you know, it was a, a drug bust. But I think that even Frank would realize that, you know, all those people that he's going to, you know, burn, you know, they're, they're going to never, you know, he doesn't have too many friends left. As I said before, there's a lot of dubious people in martial arts, but people are realizing that, you know, if, you pick, if, you, if you're pictured next to Frank Dukes and someone does a Google search of Frank Dukes and find out he's a complete fraud, then, well, it doesn't really uh, help you much, you know. So the, the absolute frauds, you know, like Frank Dukes, Ashita Kim, his friend Bodie Sanders, they're all basically out now. There's been a, a, a tiff, but really it comes down to the fact that, you know, it's hard enough, you know, saying that you're next to Master Smith and, and you know, no one's ever heard of Master Smith. <clears throat> but, you know, you call him a master and he's dressed in fancy pajamas in the picture. But, you know, if you look up people like Bodhi Sanders, Ashita Kim, Frank Dukes, yeah, you know, there are actual articles on... The, the internet easily found about how these people have been caught in lies. So he has to keep the few people that are willing to, you know, sponsor him for seminars and, you know, willing to deal with him uh, happy. And at the very minimum, it looks like this thing was canceled and they just kept things running so people could keep sending in money that is not refundable. 
And at worst, it looks like they had no intent of actually doing anything at all, which I really don't believe, but more as more and more information comes out, I'm being less and less certain about my belief. So yeah, so that's the latest thing from Frank Dukes, and just an example of why you should be very, very cautious about anything in the martial arts. If they say no refunds, I wouldn't go myself. Uh, so buyer beware. These people have lost hundreds of dollars. I know that there's at least a few people that have bought tickets and they're writing about how, you know, they're, uh, you know, trying to get their money back and stuff like that. Poor guys just aren't going to get it back. And, you know, again, maybe about $5,000 between Alan Woodman and Frank Dukes, maybe less, maybe more. I don't know, but it's just, it's just really scummy for what they did. So take care, folks.